this is in a strange place. The end is nigh. Hell on earth is just around the corner. We're all going to die. Future holiday hell, a repeating pattern of climate change doomerism. Are you guys ready for the ultimate anti-doomer rant? We need to do the the, the anti-doomer rant. Okay, are you ready? Doomerism is alive and well. We'll soon have the technology to turn CO2 to bubble tea. And the oceans we've acidified will have the taste of apple pie. It's a Let me hear, let me hear you, let me hear you. American energy independence. The United States is now by far the number one producer of oil and natural gas anywhere in the world. By far. It's not even close. Um, a lot of this shit's already uninhabitable because the fucking Amazon's a death trap. Uh, a lot of this coast. Uh, oh, just, oh yeah. Oh, this part's gonna suck, by the way. This is where the real death toll's gonna be. All right. Sorry, guys. I think I'm probably just fucking... And we already can't, like, live up here, basically. It's pretty cold up there, you know. It's pretty... Okay. Um, all right. What do we have? A lot of America left. That's nice. Oh, wait, where's Phoenix, Arizona? Nope. That's already unlivable. Okay. If your house was burning down and you could only save one thing, what would it be? If you said literally anything other than, meh, house is already on fire, just let it, let it all burn. Uh, congratulations. This video is for you. Because we have entered the era of global boiling and it's not over yet. Before you think, oh, f well, guess we're fucked. Guess we're so fucked. Time to give up. Who do you think benefits from that? If your answer was um, people who will die before it gets bad and or fossil fuel companies, you nailed it. All of this with the global warming and the, that, a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. I've always rejected the politicization uh, of the weather. Clearly the climate is changing. Not as dramatically as the radical environmentalists like to present. There'll be modest changes in temperatures. It'll start getting cooler. <laughs> I you wish just, you just watch. I wish science agreed with you. <laughs> Hey, well, I don't think science. Let me hear, let me hear you, let me hear you. Everybody's talking about high gas prices and why America needs to become energy independent again. Gas prices are hitting records. Already the highest in U.S. history. When the U.S. produces its own oil and natural gas, hostile countries like Russia, Iran, or Venezuela aren't filling our gas tanks. Just a few years ago, America achieved energy independence. So we will continue to show strong leadership in restoring, growing, and better managing our trees and our forests. During his time in office, President Joe Biden has made his views on climate change clear. My administration, the United States, has treated this crisis as an existential threat from the moment we took office. One of the most powerful forces in history, actually, is human stupidity. We know that nuclear weapons could destroy the whole of human civilization. We know that now artificial intelligence can escape our control and yet we keep on producing it. This is not a time for pessimism. This is a time for optimism. Fear and doubt is not a good thought process because this is a time for tremendous hope and joy and optimism and action. When you have hope, what that implies is that you believe the problem has a solution. The, the, the worst types of delusion and, and, and stupidity uh, uh, feeding each other. If How many seasons there are? Twelve. I don't know. Twelve? Planet Earth is going Venus, Mars, or my vote, planet anus, plan planet anus. Planet Earth is going Uranus. Uh, that's where I think this goddamn planet is going is back up Uranus. And all they've done is got after American energy and Americans by destroying their reliable, cheap base that we had that powered our economy. They're so fucking fucked! 
era of global boiling. Global, global boiling. boiling. The world has entered a new dangerous phase of climate change. We will be drilling for oil. We are going to become, again, energy independent. We are going to uh, reduce our debt because we're also going to become energy dominant. You know, we were ready to go dominant within a matter of months. We would have been making so much money. We have more oil. I call it liquid gold under our feet than any other country, Saudi Arabia, Russia. Snot-nosed middle-class white kids gluing themselves to our motorways. How do we feel about them? Jane Fonda says we need to imprison white men. Jane Fonda just said, quote, it's good for us all to realize there would be no climate crisis if there was no racism. There would be no climate crisis if there was no patriarchy. It's courage, right? Courage as opposed to hope. So what does courage mean? It means um, the ability to go against what um, you consider safe, right? To do something that you would think unsafe um, because you believe that uh, a higher good for the planet would result from that. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, that in some sense is the right word. Um, And so it takes some courage to be a doomer. You know, to realize that the best thing we could do is not have green energy, not have windmills, not have solar, not have nuclear. The best thing we could do is to not have more oil. The best thing we could do is to have civilization collapse just as quickly as it possibly can so that, um, you know, in a controlled way, if possible, so we don't lose all the nuclear plants, so that as much of this planet can be preserved as possible for whatever comes after us. What continent are we on right now? What continent? Uh, I think like North Africa. It's the end of the world.